The fastest way to find bulls that meet your breeding objectives is to search breed plan. When you land on the breed plan homepage, click database search and this will bring up all beef breeds available in Australia. Let's say you're looking for a Santa Gertrudis bull or a team of bulls. Click the Santa Gertrudis breeding link and this will bring you the EBV inquiry page. EBV Inquiry allows you to search across the entire database for this breed or a particular year drop of calves from a stud. You can also choose to search by sale catalogues or semen catalogues. In this example, we're searching the entire database for a particular year drop of male calves. Start by entering a calving year drop. Then in this next Select If field, Choose Animal is Male from the drop-down menu. On the bottom of this page, you'll see a link to Click for Percentiles. This takes you to the percentile band table for this breed. Down the left are all the percentiles. And across the top, all traits and indexes. You can see from this table that if you want bulls in the top 30% of the export index, you need a value better than plus 21. You might also want bulls in the top 30% for days to calving. The table shows negative 1.9 for this trait. If you also wanted the EBV for rump fat to be in the top 25% of the breed, the table shows you that you need an EBV better than plus 0.2. Now go back to the EBV inquiry page and scroll down to the Trait Description fields. Down the left are all the traits and indexes. The criteria are across the top. And down the right is Breed Average for each trait and index. Choose the index you're interested in. Then enter the index number you noted from the percentile band table in the minimum column. For positive numbers, there's no need to add the plus sign. This will find animals that have an index greater than 21. Now, enter measurements for the traits that align with your breeding objectives. From the percentile band table, you know bulls in the top 30% for days to calving measure negative 1.9. A more negative days to calving is desirable as you don't want days to calving to get longer, so enter this number in the maximum column. Use the minus sign for negative numbers. If scrotal size is important to your operation, you'll want better than breeding average. You'll find breed average values down the right-hand column. For this trait, it's plus 0.8, so add this number to the minimum column. You might also want better than breed average for 400 day weight. Breed average is plus 16, so add this to the minimum column. Finally, you wanted rump fat in the top 25%, so enter this measurement of plus 0.2 in the minimum column. Click search. And now you have a short list of bulls in alphabetical order that meet your breeding objectives. On the top left of screen, you can see how many bulls this short list contains compared to the total number of 2017 males across the Santa Gertrudis database. The top row gives you links to resort the list from highest to lowest for individual EBV traits or by index. Let's rank these animals by the export index and then have a closer look at the top ranking bull on this index. On this animal's details page, your main focus should be the first table and how the bull's EBVs along the top white row compare with the breed average EBVs along the bottom row. You've already asked for better than breed average for the selected traits, but you should also compare any other traits that could impact your production system with the breed average. You can also see traits observed, which lists all of the traits recorded on this animal that contribute to the breeding values. In the bottom selection index table, you can also compare this animal's index value against the breed average for your chosen index.
The easiest way to understand all these comparisons is to click this EBV percentile graph link. And this takes you to a great visual summary of this animal's EBVs in comparison with breed average. Down the left, you have each EBV and the indexes. Across the bottom, you have the percentile bands, with the 50th percentile in the centre and percentiles higher than average to the right. From the 50th percentile, you can easily see this animal's strengths and weaknesses. Keep in mind that for your breeding objectives, you might want some traits like mature cow weight to be below average. If you go back to the animal's details page, you can now check the animal's pedigree. This link shows you the sire, dam and other relatives. Click dam to look up information on this bull's mother's reproductive history and when she was born. And if you click the dam's progeny, you'll see when each of her calves were born, including the bull you're looking at. This dam has had a calf each year for a number of consecutive years, which shows you a strong reproductive history. If there were years where the dam missed a calf, this may be a question you could take back to the seed stock breeder. We've only looked in detail at one bull on our shortlist, so follow these same steps to investigate more bulls on the list. You'll find the Breed Plan database to be the fastest and most accurate way to find bulls that meet your breeding objectives and suit your production system.